Okay, I just got off the phone with Garrison. Oh my goodness. Stupid stuff. He's like blaming me for all the stuff going on in our family. This has gone too long. Garrison, who, who I asked to move out of the house probably six months ago. And then he's mad at me that I'm not coming around. And he basically just tried to cut relationship. I love you, dad, but this is goodbye for Garrison's like, dad, you're being a hypocrite. You're not coming around. And I about lost and I'm telling you, he's calling me a hypocrite when he's the one that can't be an adult and go get a place. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday, March 12th, 2024. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Maddie Brown Brush gave an update about her mom, Janelle, and how she's doing in the week since her fourth child, Garrison, tragically and suddenly passed. And Garrison Brown's friends are putting out hashtags to cancel sister wives. It's been a week since everything went down and the family members are putting out more memorials for their sibling and other family members are weighing in, including Leon. So it was a week ago today that we found out about what happened with Garrison. And it was a week ago today that Janelle and Cody put out a joint statement which said, Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy, Robert Garrison Brown. He was a bright spot in the lives of all, we, all who knew him. His loss will leave a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honoring his memory. For several days, she kind of disappeared from social media. She stopped posting about her Plexus stuff. And a couple days later, she returned to share a photograph of Garrison that said, I had all my children together last Christmas. It was amazing as it's hard with everyone's busy lives to coordinate time like this. I am extremely grateful now that we had pictures taken. So Janelle Brown and the family all met in Flagstaff following everything that happened with Garrison. Within the span of just a few days, they were able to put together a funeral for him and he was laid to rest on Friday, March 9th. The family did not provide any details about the funeral. They did not provide any details about where he was buried or you know, whether or not it was a military service or whether it was, you know, a private burial. But McKelty shared some details on her Patreon, which basically said that despite the sadness around it, it was the first time she had been with her family, all of them, minus Garrison, for the first time in years, which means that Cody, Robin, and their kids, Aurora, Dayton, Brianna, Solomon, and Ariella, all were together with the other side of the family with Christine, Janelle, the kids, Mary, Leon. So everyone's at the, the funeral for Garrison to honor him and say goodbye. The way that McKelty framed it was that, you know, this was bringing the family closer together. Although I don't know if that's necessarily true because when I went on to Cody's Inst Instagram and looked to see who's following him and who he's not following, he's still not following Janelle. Janelle is still not following him. Christine's not following him. Mary's not following him. Those three aren't following Robin. A lot of the kids aren't following Cody. So whatever happened with Garrison bringing the family together appears to have been temporary. And then with McKelty coming back, she said that, you know, people are going to get back to life and get back to things. And she mentioned that there's going to be some more gatherings in the future. There's going to be a reunion in Wyoming. There's going to be some more celebrations in the next month. And it basically just sounds like the family's going back to the normal life and filming. So a lot of people were like wondering if Janelle and Cody were going to lean on each other. It would appear the answer would be no, because this week, just today, Madison shared a photograph of her with her mom in North Carolina. So she shared a photo photograph that says some water, sun, and therapy. And it was a photograph of Janelle holding hands with Axel and Evie as they're walking into the ocean in North Carolina. And then it has the three kids on the sand 
in North Carolina with them. And then Janelle reshared that message and then she wrote grandbabies in her story. So Janelle, after the funeral, left with Madison and went back to North Carolina. And if you're wondering why, apparently Janelle is splitting time right now between North Carolina and Flagstaff and she's spending like half and half time, half time with Maddie, half time in Flagstaff. She and Maddie are like setting up a garden together. I think she's spending more time with her kids and then with Maddie and then goes back to Flagstaff for filming. Like a day before this all happened, she was shared on Instagram that she had some, had had her skin checked out and that she had to have some stuff removed for basal cell. And someone asked her, are you still in Flagstaff? And she said, I'm here this week, splitting time between here and North Carolina now. So she just happened to be in town at the same time that he decided to take his life. She had been out of town up until then. She comes into town and he ends his life and then she goes back to North Carolina. I'm not sure if that was a planned move by him that he knew she would be there. I, I honestly don't know. It's it could be completely coincidental. So this means that back in Flagstaff, Janelle has Gabriel and Savannah on their own. Now Gabriel is in college. He attends Northern Arizona University. He lives in a place and he's got like three or four roommates. So he's not necessarily alone. I just hope that with Janelle gone, that she, that he is people are keeping an eye out on him. Like people are monitoring what he's doing and how he is and his siblings are, are keeping in touch with him so that everything is okay with him. What he went through last week was, it's gonna haunt him the rest of his life. And what he walked into is probably anyone else's like worst nightmare. And now he's, you know, all the family is dispersed. They're back in Utah. Matt McKelty's back in Utah. Leon's back in Colorado. You know, Mary's back in Utah, Christine's back in Utah. So you have this small type family that's in Flagstaff and of the people that he might interact with, there's Savannah and Gwendolyn because he doesn't talk really to Cody, Robin or their kids. Less and less of the family now lives in Flagstaff. And as the family disperses across the country, you almost start to wonder like, how do they even film an aftermath when they're not even in the same city? and just how disconnected the family has become. So Cody and Robin are still in Flagstaff. They've got kids that are at NAU. Dayton lives in a trailer on their property and they're just gonna go on with their life and Janelle's in North Carolina. Now, I hope that by her being in North Carolina, it means that she's not filming this week and she can get some time to decompress. I honestly hope they don't film, which leads me into I shared a post yesterday from one of his friends, Bryson, who helped baptize him into the, the LDS church. And someone had mentioned at the very end that he had a hashtag called cancel sister wives. And this is someone that was one of Garrison's best friends when he lived in Las Vegas. And that was all it said. Like he didn't mention why he wants to cancel it. It would seem that even his friends are recognizing how detrimental this show was to Garrison's mental health. You've got one of his friends, I shared this post yesterday, but I'll read it again. You told me to always be there for me. You said that you'd speak at my future wedding and you'd want us all to live next to each other once we settled down. I remember the days where you would be the one convincing me to stay for all three hours of church. I remember the late night chats about life in the future. I'm mad at you, Robert. I'm mad you left without talking to me one last time. I know I'll get to see and miss you again and we can still hug it out then. But for now, I'm angry. I miss you, buddy. And then it says, Stormin' Mormons for Life, Cancel Sister Wives, Plan of Salvation. If one of his good friends is saying cancel sister wives, I think we should listen to that as far as what his friends who knew him and loved him and spent a lot of time with him had to say about what they've been seeing on the show, how they've seen him be treated and what this would do to his legacy. And I was thinking of some of the accusations that Cody was making about Garrison on the show, and it actually perfectly describes him. Like he called Garrison a narcissist. Cody was a narcissist. He called Garrison arrogant, but Cody's arrogant. He said that Garrison just wasn't following the rules because he wanted to get his pencil wet, but really Cody was isolating with Robin 
so he could get his pencil wet and Cody left his whole family so he could get his pencil wet. He blamed Janelle and he blamed the boys for destroying his relationship with Janelle, but really Cody destroyed his relationship with Janelle. He said that Garrison was unsafe, but really Cody is unsafe. Cody said that they're not loyal, but really Cody's not loyal to anyone but Cody. And the, another strange thing is <laughs> Cody got mad at Garrison because Garrison got COVID and all of his siblings got COVID that lived with him and Janelle. But then when Brianna went back to school and gave everyone Cody COVID and he got COVID from Brianna, Cody never ragged on her for it ever. It was like rules for the not rules for the not for me. Brianna actually got everyone in the family but Aurora sick, but he didn't yell about it at all. It was just like, oh, funny thing. She just got it. No, now I'm sick. And it was a death-like experience. But when Garrison gave it to Janelle and Chris, you know, Janelle and Savannah and his girlfriend and Gabriel and Gabriel's girlfriend, he couldn't stop screaming about it. And when I share on my channel that they're going to continue filming and this is gonna, the show must go on, I'm seeing a mix of comments from y'all where it's like some of you are understanding because you are like, this is reality television. This is what they signed up for. Of course, they're going to talk about this. This is what Cody does. He talks about weddings and births and of course they would talk about deaths and then we can be reminded about grandma Duggar when she passed away. I mean, the freaking Duggars filmed the funeral and he filmed his children bawling, giving their eulogies to Mary Duggar. So if we can use Mary Duggar as an example, I have a feeling that we'll see something equivalent for Garrison. I think the difference here is that Garrison's last text messages are to producers or the crew and he's somehow looking back at the old seasons and is like, I want to hate you guys, but I miss those days. You know, someone in my comments over on Instagram had said, suggested that much like Gwendolyn and McKelty were doing, they were thinking that maybe Garrison was going back and watching the old seasons to try to piece together what happened. McKelty had said on her Patreon that most of the kids don't watch the show and make a commitment not to watch the show because they live it, but they also say that the show is just so much drama and it's not necessarily their entire lives. So they don't know a lot of the intricacies that were happening. They also don't understand the dynamics between the parents. And so going back to watch it, they can go back and answer some of their questions about what might have happened and they can see things for themselves, even if it's the lens of a highly edited and curated television show. So someone was suggesting that maybe Garrison was going back and watching the seasons and it was hurting him because he saw how things used to be and that's what he had wanted. And we'll never know, but the fact that his last text message is to TLC crew and he's like, I want to hate you, but I can't because I miss those days. The family is going to do what the family is going to do. Cody's going to do what Cody's going to do. Cody has made a commitment to this show. Cody had two guys on a podcast confront him in November about how the show was negatively impacting his family, confronting him about the drama and how it seems to be hurting him. It seems to be hurting his kids. It seems to be hurting the family. And Cody, it says he's ashamed of what happens on the show and he's he. it's heartbreaking now. And yet he keeps on filming. And it's because money. What else is Cody going to do for money? He doesn't work like the other women. He doesn't hustle the same way they do. He's not online selling his MLM stuff. I mean, he goes off to gun shows now and sells guns. I don't know. I mean, what's he going to do to try to live the, how, how, how would he and Robin ever be able to afford the lifestyle that they have without the show? Cody would have to have a come to Jesus moment and I don't see that happening. Robin would have to have a come to Jesus moment and I don't see that happening. I could see Janelle and Christine walking away, but I don't know if they will. They're all under contract at least through season 20. And I don't know what they're filming right now for. I don't know what they're going to do with the stuff that they've filmed that's going to have Garrison in it that's on tap for probably next season. I don't know how they're going to keep going. I don't know why Puddle Monkey Productions, the production company that literally has produced this show for the entirety of it, suddenly shuts down their website. I don't know why one of their producers, Tim Gibbons, was removed from the company 
as a member in January, and it's only now owned from by a guy named Christopher Poole, one of the executive produ- producers, and Tim Gibbons moves off to Connecticut. I don't know if there has been some sort of disagreement even with the production cr- company because the production company's website is down. I really don't know what's going on with the show, and I know that they're filming, but I don't know what they're filming. But I think you got to listen to the kids when they say, and his friends that are like, you need to think about canceling Sister Wives. And listen, I'm not going to petition. I'm not going to put up any petitions. I'm not going to encourage any petitions. I'm not going to encourage the cancellation of this show. I'm just like thinking if his friends are saying this, is it really healthy? And I don't think you're going to have anyone in this family that's profiting off of it be able to think clearly right now. With his friends demanding the show be canceled, I want to just end this video with a sweet tribute that Audrey Chris shared, a drawing that they drew for Garrison. Audrey is married to Leon, who is Mary's child, and the drawing was a picture of him in his gear, his National Guard gear, And they wrote, I'll never forget you being the warmest and biggest first hug whenever I came into the room. Your presence on the earth is so incredibly missed. I don't know if I'll ever find the words to say how truly special of a human you were and are to anyone who knew and got to love you. I'm grateful to have known and been family with you. I'll remember you with every white monster, click of my camera, starry night sky, and in every Toyota Tacoma. Love you so much, Garrison. Until we meet again, I'll be looking to the stars. And I noticed that on that, Aspen wrote, thanks for this, Audrey. I love you, bro. You know what I've noticed in a lot of the tributes from some of the kids and even from Janelle and and Cody is the lack of I love yous. It's so nice to see Audrey say I love you to Garrison. And a sweet tribute. Leon also shared some pictures with just a simple line about seeing him in the sky. Garrison was evolving as a human and was very accepting of people. He was very accepting of, you know, getting rid of some of his belief systems that he grew up with and was not judgmental of people, which I'm sure for Audrey and Leon was super important. He accepted his siblings that were LGBTQ+, which was important. Not all of the siblings did and do. So as you're unpacking everything that's happened over the last week, leave some comments if you have some. What are your thoughts about Janelle taking off for North Carolina? What do you think about his friend saying cancel sister wives? And what do you think about that tribute? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Bye guys.